And not only are we back, but we're back to time travel. <sighs> okay, Barry, how are we going to screw it up this time? Welcome to the heart of the stories we tell. My name is Rob, and tonight I will be reviewing... The Flash, Season 5, Episode 1, Nora. And alright, I guess I owe an apology to Barry. He's not the one that messed up the timeline. It was Nora. <sighs> that was still Barry's fault. There's some time travel shenanigans. Some crisis shenanigans. And some, well, all sorts of stuff that we're going to need to talk about. But that's getting ahead of ourselves. In general, if you missed last season, we ended on a high note where everything was fixed and we got our main cast members back even though all the supporting cast members still died. Yay, reset buttons. But it made Flash a little happier than anything. And alright, for those of you that don't know, I review the shows. I spend a lot of time on the Berlantiverse ones especially. And then I come up with theories on how and why we tell stories. Last year I kind of slacked because, I'll be honest, the shows weren't the best. But if you're up for it, click subscribe and join us. So Iris and Barry got married. And at their wedding, their daughter showed up. And when she did, she said... Don't forget to say I do. And now she's back with a story about how she messed up and can't get home. And she's basically joined Team Flash. Any more than that requires this. So once again, it's stop. Spoiler time. Bah, dun, 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 dun. The basic narrative of the episode went pretty well. It's all about introducing Nora to the team and getting the team up and running. They had a throwaway villain that they even made mention of the fact that he should be a throwaway villain. But at the same time, they had Elongated Man finding out about the inf the multiverse. Which was kind of weird because, like they said in episode and kind of hung a lampshade on it, he should already know about the multiverse. And on top of that, he basically was just the, hey, we need to catch everyone up on why it is we didn't do this or how we didn't do that. Thankfully... In the aftermath of The Thinker, there has been no reference to The Thinker, so I'm thinking he might actually have been completely gone last year when I did surmise in one of my reviews that he might come back as a sentient computer program. One of the other things they did great was they did have multiple speedsters without feeling redundant. Hell, Wally remembered there's a time machine. Yeah, it was a weird excuse on why it was they couldn't just pop her in the time machine and go home, but it was better than nothing, and I can even justify it as Wally kind of might have messed some of it up. But for those of you that don't know, this has been showing up since the first episode, Flash Missing Vanished in Crisis, which is actually a reference to Crisis on Infinite Earths, which is a reference also to last season's big crossover. This year, they're talking about bringing the Monitor in. So I'm guessing that this 2024 date is going to get referenced a bunch of times. But X's is here not because of a mistake, but because she wants to meet up with her dad. And it was actually a kind of tear-jerking moment to the point where I even kind of teared up as Barry realized, wait, you said you always grew up with your mom. But what about me? Oopsie. Well, he died in crisis, probably stopping the Anti-Monitor from going back in time. And now we have an entire season of, hey, funny time travel shenanigans. The B-plot actually had something interesting for Ralph to do, and something that ties us back to last season. Remember how Killer Frost has always been part of Caitlyn? Well, her father faked her, his death, which means he's still out there which means we're going to have a Killer Frost reuniting somehow. All in all, it was a good, steady, upbeat first episode. I enjoyed it. Wasn't great. Wasn't perfect. It really was fun and kept me entertained. Up next, I'm going to be doing Black Lightning, but I'm curious. What do you think? And what do you think of Cicada showing up at the end? Let me know down in the comments section. And of course, like every YouTuber, I have to ask you to like and share this video. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. But I also have a Patreon that I'm listing down below. So if you really like me and want to see these videos improve, you can always throw me a couple bucks. In the meantime, what I really want is for you to join our community. Talk. Let's see. What is it about the Flash you like or don't like? 
And as we get further in, maybe we'll see what's coming up as we walk through the heart of the stories we tell. Have a good night, and thanks for watching.